for me. He explained Chicago to me, and and he he educated me on a, a lot of great things that Chicago has to offer and what he can offer Chicago, with with no strings attached and 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 just he he saw my passion to want to be an alderman and and to have someone to reach back to me after I put in a lot of phone calls, a lot of emails, and a lot of letters over the last few years uh, to different city officials. And, and I'm not knocking or taking away from what they were doing, but he reached back and he said, uh, Roger, come on in and, and let me explain to you how this goes. And, and I've learned so much and I, and I saw his passion and I see what he's doing now. And, 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 and to be a person that could take time out their busy schedule to talk to someone who has uh, no – no background, uh, 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 not an inside scoop or, or a political figure in their life that that can make a phone call. I'm 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 just I'm just I'm just an an an, uh, an average citizen that's looking to to get some guidance. And he reached back and he said, "Man, let me show you." Wow, wow! If, if today was election day, who do you feel would take that seat? Now, I, I think that. Uh, Alderman Fioretti would oh, okay because okay. In, in order in order to um to 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 govern city council you have to know what city council stands for and okay. what and what goes on in city council and he has been in city council and he has he has um he 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 stood up against uh and and stood for what he believed was right and, and stood against what he believed was wrong and and to know that someone in city council that was already in city council and is taking place in city council right now. That that does that. That means they they have the background and they and they know how it works. And not not taking away from any other candidate because I love their energy, I love their passion, I love what they're doing. Uh, it's just that my my choice, my particular choice, and that's just my my opinion. I'm entitled to it, and I and I feel that that Alderman Bob Fioretti will be the uh, the next best mayor of Chicago. Most definitely, you know. Many times, you know, we we have candidates that come in and. <laughs> We we had one candidate that dropped out, and uh, all because she felt that she didn't have enough money. You know, it was it was spoke upon, but uh, honestly, you know, if you, you felt that way, you should have just stayed in the race to prove people wrong. Mm-hmm. Then you have somebody else who's under, well, making up, uh, claiming that their uh, their votes or their petitions are fake, <laughs> and uh, I, I take it that you are a Democrat, right? Without a doubt. Okay, okay. We we have all these wannabe uh, Republicans <laughs> uh, coming in. Uh, you know what? I do have one thing to address because, you know, I, I did not know where uh, the 24th Ward was, but uh, does that circumference uh, around where Cook Brothers are not around North Avenue, around that area, or is that no, a little bit? That's, to- that's, that's uh, MMS. Okay. MMS. Well, well, I have something to address to you since callers haven't called in. Can you please... Get this water tax and this uh, 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 soda tax. Man, I, I, I went to Cook Brothers <laughs> to purchase a case of water for a dollar yeah. and sixty nine cent. Yeah, and I end up spending forty dollars on three packs of uh, cases of water. I'm like, I didn't know it, there was a water tax. <laughs> That's crazy. Now I'm out here in the western suburbs. Yeah, and I did not know there was a water tax, uh, ten cents on a bottle of water. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, <laughs> and, and ten cents on a, a soda. I went to a, what was it? Pop Bellies to get a, a can of soda with a sandwich, and a can of soda was two dollars and seventy five cents. Right. That's 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 totally ridiculous. Uh, my, my 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 thing on the on the water tax is, uh, it, and it's just it's just my my I just call it my collegiate education. Water is free. Yeah, and, yeah. And wa- wa- water's been free since God put it here. And why would you want to put tax on that? I, I, I don't understand. I mean, is it the bottle? Is it the top? Or is it the state that we live in? Oh, I'm not charging for water in <laughs> right. <laughs> right. You know, I don't, <laughs> I, I, I don't see a need, a need for it. Uh, the, the only thing that, 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 that I feel that, that, that should be taxed is uh, the commuter tax because we have um, a lot of, a lot of um, you know, suburban commute back and forth in Chicago. And, and to, to, make, to make a Chicago dollar in, in the Chicago setting – and not have to pay taxes in Chicago uh, is absurd because because Metro and, and and other transportation places they tax and and to to have our monies from Chicago uh, be dispersed back to the suburbs and spent in the suburbs maybe that that that's an issue but but as far as water and and soda oh that's absurd 
I mean, I, I, I couldn't believe it. I We purchased water and juice for the radio station all the time. Yeah. And when I walked out, my bill came up to $50 Yikes. for only three cases of water. Yikes. I'm like, you know what? I'm going a, I'm to a go out to DePage County or Will County and start getting my cases of water. But we were supposed to be supporting the city. Right. My, my next question is, now, I'm a former Chicago police officer. All my listeners know, you're a current uh, police officer. Yes. What can we do about what, what's your thought about ride alongs? I, I don't see that anymore of Chicago police. Mm-hmm. Uh, I, uh, I don't even see the Met, uh, uh, CTA uh, Metro police anymore on the buses, riding on the buses during school, t- school time. Right. Well, what is your thought about that? How, how, how would, do you feel that should be implemented back into the system? Uh, well, what, what's your thought about that? Most definitely. When I, when I first came on in 99, uh, I, I saw the ride alongs and and I was impressed. I thought I thought it was something that was definitely needed. That way, the uh, the, the average citizen can see what we go through and what we have to endure at night. And that that's that that that's a plus. And and not to see a police officer on the CTA or on on the L that that's disturbing. And I, I mean, women women getting attacked on the L and the CTA and. I mean, I, you know, you don't want to start calling in uh, the guardian angels again. <laughs> right, no doubt. You know, uh, no and, doubt. You know, I'm, we're not going to go into that. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. They're not the police. The guardian angels are not the police, right. okay? They're, they're not like the Black Panthers. Uh, uh, they, they're trying to be what... But my, my thought is, you know, I, I think a lot of the crime during school time mm-hmm. would be very low if Chicago police were actually physically on the bus, right. on the L's, instead of riding behind the squad cars, by the time a bus driver buzzed that bell, they yeah. jumping out the um, back window, run out the door. No doubt. Uh, you know, you're trying to assess the, the victim, but you need to get the perps. You're right about <laughs> that, man. You, and that, and, that, and that's, that's absolutely right, because a police presence means a lot. Even, even growing up as a child when I was taking public transportation, uh, to and from school, uh, it was just a, a, a certain a certain aura that the police held, and and you you got in line, you you did what you're supposed to do because that was authority, and you had to obey authority. And once you take that away, then then the city runs rampant, and then you try to bring it back when it's too late. Now it's time. Now it's time for the new youth, the new generation, to uh to try to adhere to it, and and they're totally lost and they're against it because they feel that you know what. There are they are against us and not for us. Well, I, I know uh, from personal experience from being on the job, mm-hmm. getting out, doing a traffic stop, and your your, your adrenaline is up at that point of time. And I I, I know the training uh, um, and excessive force, but I'm not going to get into asking you about the Ferguson because that, that's that's over with. Right. And I'm not going to get into asking you about the how the two New York cops got uh, uh, shot, but what what is it that the community, uh, automatic community, are doing or saying at this present time with this new situation, uh, and with you being a, a, a current Chicago police officer? Mm-hmm. How are they addressing this issue? Uh, I know you guys are with your vests all the time. Yeah. Uh, what's your feeling about the body cameras? Uh, uh, my, my same, uh, I feel the same way about the, by the in, in card camera. I mean, you you can't capture everything at every given moment. Like you said, the adrenaline is running. Uh, you, a former police officer, I'm, I'm I just left work maybe a few hours ago. Uh, no one would know the intensity of what we uh, have to endure at night. I mean, you can go from zero to sixty uh, real quick. Uh, the camera might be able to capture some some moments, but it won't be able to capture everything because the adrenaline, like. Uh, 2010, uh, and, and I, 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 I arrived at a call of, of a young man was just just killed, and they gave a description out. And me and my partner were right there, and we, we were able to get out and pursue him. He still had a loaded weapon in his hand, and he turned around and, and fired his weapon at us. But, but by the grace of God, we were, we were covered, we were shielded. Uh, we end up ca- capturing him and apprehending him and, and arresting him, and and going through court. Uh, it seemed like it was every bit of two hours from getting the call, getting the description, 
chasing him, being shot at, and then capturing him after he just killed someone. And after reviewing the, reviewing the tape and going to going to court, it was every bit of a minute. Wow. So you, you can never capture everything. As 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 a recorder, as 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 media, as, as the police, you cannot capture every moment that goes on. You you have to act accordingly. And and my my whole um, my whole view on, on on all this um negativity and this energy that's going to, going through the United States right now is that you have to put yourself in someone else's shoes to actually and and, and to be a Chicago police officer, to be a pol- police officer anywhere. You, you you have to have a heart and you and you have to really look at the big picture. Well, I was still one when I was going through that New York is the highest suicide rate to get out of the academy and Chicago is the second. <laughs> wow. <laughs> so I, I know doing 36 weeks uh, is is total hell, you know. Yeah. And, and uh, but my my next question is, you know, we've talked about with all other candidates. This is a part time position. Are you planning to? still be on the Chicago Police Department or are you uh, p- planning to pursue another uh, full-time political office job? No, I, I, I love I love being the police and I love being a Chicago police officer. Well, let me stop you right there. You said you love being the police. Yes. Why not go ahead and be a detective or tech officer or, or HBT or, or hostage bear? Thing? Doc, you didn't let me finish, Doc. Doc, you didn't let me finish, man. Go, go ahead. Let go me ahead. finish, Doc. I, 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 I asked Collins the same yeah, thing. I'm man. like, 23 years on the job. Right. Why you want to run for mayor? And, and why not just go ahead and be superintendent of police? Oh, but, and you know, that, that, that question comes about a lot. I, I, I truly love, I love serving and protecting. But but I, I feel that that God has moved me to this plateau to serve and protect on this level, not just a beat, not just a, a, a small area of a, a violence oppression mission, but an entire ward. If, if if I'm to be successful as a police officer over a beat, that means God will have me accountable to be a protector over an entire ward. That way, the eye that I have can can tap into a community can tap into church and also the police department. It's bigger than Roger Washington. Okay. Right now okay. this right now this is a call and this is a movement. And 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 God has placed me in different positions to be able to handle this one capacity. If you uh, a pastor for 15 years, police officer for 15 years, and an educator for the last 10 years. And now 2 years of being uh a, a outreach specialist for 18 and 21 year olds who don't have their high school diploma to whereas I groom them, I set them in a position they can get their high school diploma. That's a, that's 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 a lot of that's a lot of hats. Wow, wow. Ladies and gentlemen, once again, give us a call at 708-343-3906. That's 708-343-3906. We have candidate. No, we have alderman. He, yeah. We're going to speak it. <laughs> yeah. Not candidate. Because uh, this man of God, uh, Chicago police officer, I know he's tired. We're not going to have him long because he needs to get in bed before he can get a little road rage. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, y'all got to give us a call at 708-343-3906. 708-343-3906. Smooth, 90.5 FM. a size. I am not a stereotype. I want workout clothes that fit who I am. 
Champion Woman is a complete line of sports bras and activewear.